Hi, everybody. This is God's Sad for the Sad Truth. A literature review in uh, science is when you, uh, as an author, try to understand the context in which your own work is being conducted. And so you, you would conduct a literature review to get a sense of what's been done prior to your work, where does your work fit within the greater narrative of the phenomenon that you're studying. So a central feature of uh, any scientific paper is the requisite literature review. Now, let us suppose that you're studying a phenomenon whereby the literature is mixed. So, for example, let's suppose you're a medical researcher who's exploring the relationship between uh, coffee drinking and uh, asthma symptoms. Is it the case that if you drink more coffee, you're likely to suffer fewer asthmatic symptoms? Uh, because perhaps the caffeine uh, dilates your uh, uh, you know, breathing uh, passageways. Uh, well, there might be some studies that have found that, yes, there is a beneficial relationship. Others might find that, no, it exacerbates the problem. Others might find no relationship. Others might find some curvilinear relationship. So if you're doing a literature review and then you're coming up with all sorts of varied uh, findings and effects for a given relationship between a you know two variables how do you decide uh, what is sort of the, the the bottom line what's the snapshot uh, bottom line of the field well there is a technique that allows us to exactly do that and it's known as a meta-analysis uh, basically a meta-analysis is where you take a bunch of studies that uh, study the the same phenomenon and, and usually there are criteria by which you decide whether uh, a study makes it into your meta-analysis or not, whether it's going to be included or excluded. And then you try to find all of the published studies that have been done looking at the phenomenon in question, but also you put out a call for unpublished studies because you don't want there to be, uh, you know, succumbing to the uh, file drawer problem where people don't publish findings uh, if, for example, you don't get any effect, the null effects bias, which I've discussed in a previous Sad Truth. And so in this case, you try to find all of the possible studies, both published and unpublished, that have, that have tackled the phenomenon in question. And then imagine as, that you put them into sort of a meg, mega pool, uh, a supra pool, uh, and then you conduct the appropriate statistical analyses so that you then have a final bottom line snapshot uh, of the phenomenon in question. So does coffee help or hinder... Um, you know, asthmatic symptoms. And so you could imagine in all sorts of contexts where you have a thriving uh, debate in science in a particular field, uh, it would necessitate the conducting of a meta-analysis. And so uh, let me give you another example. In evolutionary psychology, there is this uh, phenomenon that was uh, documented famously in 1992 by David Buss and his colleagues looking at the difference between men and women when it comes to how they respond to sexual versus emotional infidelity. And what they had found is that uh, you know, men are much more uh, triggered, if you like, by sexual infidelity, whereas women uh, were triggered uh, to a greater extent by emotional infidelity. And there are some interesting evolutionary reasons uh, for that particular sex difference. And so since that seminal study, there have been many, many studies that have been conducted exactly testing this. And so after 20 plus years of findings, so what, how do we, so what do we decide? Do we, can we come to the conclusion that there is now a robust uh, effect when it comes to this particular sex difference? Uh, and that study, if I remember correctly, that meta-analysis uh, has been done uh, reason, uh, recently. So again, uh, meta-analysis is an extraordinarily uh, useful tool when you're trying to take a bunch of uh, disparate studies that are testing the same phenomenon, pooling them together, and then trying to decide uh, if there is any uh, conclusion that can be drawn from all of these uh, disparate studies. So there you have it. Science, the only way to get to the truth in the world. Rely on science, reason, and evidence, and shed superstition. Have a great week, everybody. Talk to you soon. Ciao.